Well, royal watchers, mark your calendars. This morning, Kensington Palace at Heritage Canada confirmed the details for the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge's upcoming visit to Canada. Prince William and his wife Kate will visit a number of smaller communities. Well, we wouldn't call Vancouver smaller, would we, Richard Berthelsen? No, he's shaking his head at me. The trip will take place between September the 24th and October the 1st. This is going to be the royal couple's second visit to Canada. Their first came shortly after their wedding five years ago, and they drew huge crowds wherever they went. CTV's royal commentator Richard Berthelsen is joining me in studio now. Richard, what do you take out of the agenda? What does it say to you about the focus of their trip and, of course, whether or not they're going to bring the kids? Well, I think what we're seeing in this uh, eight-day trip is a, f a real base being established in Victoria. So they're likely going to be staying at Government House uh, in Victoria, which is the residence of the Lieutenant Governor, one of the most beautiful official residences in Canada. So the children will be able to be based there, and then their Royal Highnesses, uh, the Prince and the Duchess, will be making these visits out. Extraordinary, really, they're going to be going to some communities as small as 400 people, mm -hmm. Carcross in the Yukon, uh, 1,200 people in Bella Bella, of course, Haida Gwaii, the very, very important uh, center and heart of the Haida Nation in British Columbia and the Great Bear Rainforest, which is a bit controversial in that it is a potential site for the Northern Gateway. So there's a lot of issues around that. But all of these areas are places where the governments of Canada and British Columbia have signed agreements with the Aboriginal peoples, and so they are to some extent less likely to be controversial in that sense. And so when touring these these communities, what do you expect to see them doing? There's going to be a real strong focus on young people. There's going to be a real strong focus on programs that deal with mental health. There's going to be a strong focus on Aboriginal heritage and culture, and also the environment. Of course, we know Prince William is a noted conservationist, particularly when it comes to animals, so he'll be really interested in some of the activities underway in Great Bear Rainforest to uh, protect the animals there. And those issues will raise in all these places. There are also some very iconic places, you know, obviously Vancouver, Victoria, but also Kelowna. They might get into wine country. So there'll be a sense of promoting the best that Canada has because we know that the Duke and Duchess bring international media attention wherever they go. They sure do. Now, what uh, clues can we gather from whether or not George or Charlotte will be joining them on this trip? Well, we don't have an official announcement from Kensington Palace or the Government of Canada that the two young infant prince and princess, they're going to be going. But I think when they are located in one location in Victoria, it makes more sense that they would be there. Most days they'll probably be there with their nanny while their parents go away. One or maybe another day of this trip they might take one or both of the children with them. And I think that is a possibility perhaps maybe on the Victoria Day, September 29th. Obviously they're already in Victoria possibly up to Haida Gwaii, but again, they'll make those decisions on a case-by-case -case basis, and they'll be looking at the itinerary right now. So we'll probably get one or two really good looks at the children, in addition to the arrival ceremonies and the departure ceremony. And we'll be probably have a huge, big public arrival ceremony at the Parliament Buildings in Victoria on that Saturday afternoon, which is the 24th of September. Okay. Thank you so much, our royal commentator, Richard Berthelsen. We'll see you before then, or... Definitely that week. We're looking forward to it. <laughs> we'll be spending a lot of time together. We Thank will. you.